I'm going to review the Havoc OS version 3.7 for Redmi Note 7. So without any further delays, let's just jump to the other part of the video. So let me just show you the settings first and i'll show you the version so this is the havoc OS version 3.7 and it has the latest android security patch level that is of 5 july 2020 so as you have seen that in every custom rom there are a couple of options or the features which are available that are similar in nature so i'm not going to review all of the features but i'm going to review the part or show you the part which makes Havoc OS different from the other custom ROMs and let's just have a look at it so this configuration center this is basically the option where you go and you will get uh, the features that you want to customize so if we go to the status bar and uh, as similar to the other ROMs you can customize the clock and date settings if you just go here and you can auto hide the clock and everything and uh, basic uh, customization of clock then if you want the, the, the logo of Havoc OS to be displayed that can also be done and uh, gestures are also there the brightness control slider it doesn't work I have observed that it doesn't work that good it's okay but this double tap to sleep if I tap on this yeah that device gets locked so that's a good thing and if you go to the network speed so yeah you get the option of display mode of your uh, network speed monitor to show the dynamic I mean the upload and download speeds together or if you want specifically to show you can select the location where the network speed monitor should appear uh, that is in the status bar or somewhere else if you select us header it will appear over here and if you select status bar it will show over here and uh, let's just go back and you can choose or customize your career label and everything and you can customize how the battery percentage should appear the battery bar etc and you can hide the icons and everything so this feature no this this the the options you get in this particular status bar option for customization is pretty similar to other custom roms so now let's just go back and have a look at the quick settings option tons of options for customization you can enable this battery estimates so this battery estimates is something new that i've seen in havoc os and not in other custom roms so basically it will show you you know like uh, by what time your battery will exhaust or something so yeah that's that's not that helpful but yeah it's okay you will get a rough estimate and if you just go below and you can see the background blur and everything so whenever you swipe down you can as you see blur is happening over here so that's a good feature and if you want you can use a header image I'll show you what is this header image and get this to nature and this to static and pick an image from collection I'll go into this and as you can see over here so this is basically the header image so I don't prefer this header image a lot so I'll turn it off and you can customize the tiles and everything for the QS I mean the quick settings and uh, let's just go back and have a look at the lock screen so in the lock screen you get the option 
double tap to sleep if you so if you are in this as you can see double tap to wake double tap to sleep and everything works and uh, if you play some music it will show some music visualizer the pocket detection for fingerprint authentication vibration if you know like uh, the fingerprint that you have authorized your phone to analyze and uh, it analyzes then it will give you an haptic feedback now let's just go back and go to the ambient display so in ambient display you can choose whatever option you want to see the battery level uh, you can also turn on the always on mode and uh, you can also select gestures for it you know whenever you pick up your phone you should get that i'll try this i have not and if i have not checked this option uh, if i keep like this and if i just do like this no so this feature is not that helpful and yeah these are the features that you get in ambient display so this is also nothing new when compared to the other custom rooms so yeah and if you go to the buttons again you can customize the buttons that you're using here and uh, you can customize the power menu how it should appear basically you can customize this one and uh, if you just go back and in notification here we get an option of edge lighting so whenever you get a notification so your edges you know <laughs> this screen this part of the screen it blinks with some random colors so that looks cool that looks cool and uh, nothing much and if you go to battery saving Previously, we used to have an option of, you know, like uh, smart pixels. You can disable the amount, number of pixels to save or to get more battery life. But now, these options are not, this option is not here in the battery saving mode. So, you know, if you go to screen, you can customize the screen how it should appear. If I choose this, it will look like this. And if I choose this, it will look like this. Basically notch customization now nothing new let's just go back and in animations you can set animations for each and everything so in miscellaneous you get a gaming mode which is a very nice feature and if you just go into this and enable this and what it will do is it will not boost your phone's ram or something it will just block the notification while you are playing your game it will only you know whenever you get calls only you will get notification for your calls but other than that you won't get your notifications for the messages so in the gaming mode indication you can choose what all to be shown how the notification sh should be shown should it be shown or not so that's a really helpful feature and if you enable the dynamic mode then it will automatically detect what are the you know what all games you have in your mobile phone so that's a good feature which was not which is not there in pixel experience and it's there in havoc and now let's just go back if and in this you get the option of face unlock and fingerprint both work perfectly there are no issues no lags nothing and let me just show you so it works perfectly and also the face unlock works perfectly let me just show you there are no issues in the face unlock also and here you can you get an option of xiaomi parts where you can enable the me sound enhancer which we get in this uh, miui to you know like optimize the sound for your headphones and uh, you can choose a preset and a couple of options and these options for me to be honest is not like worth it or i don't use this much if you go to system developer options i'll show you so this much of ram i get free and there are no lags no issues first time i have seen havoc OS to be this stable and uh, it has changed my opinion that Previously, I used to say that pixel experience is the 
best Pixel Experience Plus is the best custom ROM and the stable custom ROM but Havoc OS has proved me wrong and this Havoc OS also is very stable there are no lags no issues everything is working and if you just go back there is one more feature which is not there in the Pixel Experience Plus ROM and it's there in Havoc that is dual voltage the option of dual volte in this so that's a really helpful feature which I used to miss a lot uh, back then when I was using MIUI and now finally I got this feature in Havoc OS so let's just go back and everything is working you know Wi-Fi Bluetooth I've tested it it's working fine and I've been using this ROM past two days and the battery backup that like which is the most important thing for a custom ROM why people choose is we should get a good battery backup so the battery backup in this Havoc OS is very decent uh, on a single charge I get around 8 to 9 hours backup when uh, in, a, in light usage and whenever I play games or something so in that case I get backup of 7 to 8 hours and yeah everything works fine no issues and definitely you can use it as your daily driver and in this we get a custom camera application this is a snapdragon camera application and it works it's not that great so i have installed the google camera application and that works fine and uh, the banking apps are working there are no issues it's working smooth let me just show you as you can see if your device was rooted or it had some cts profile issue then it would have shown that you can't use this application because your phone is rooted so there are no issues in this so everything is working there are no issues and if you ask me that whether i can use it as a daily driver or should i use this rom for you know like for gaming definitely you can use it for your gaming purposes also as well as as a daily driver and uh, definitely if you want more customizations Havoc OS is the ROM that you need to install in your phone. So this is my review for the Havoc OS for Redmi Note 7. If you found this video helpful, do smash the like button and if you are new to our channel, do press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I hope you to see in my next one.